today's the day we get ready for Dad's solar install. Stay tuned and see how we do it. So that almost finishes up the positive wire system. That's just kind of the that's the bulk of the system, I guess. Gary, Stacy, Spirit, and Sophie We're taking our motor home around the country. Throughout North America, we're on the road. It's Pal on a track. Alright, so now we need to talk about uh, look at the negative, the negative run. Yes. We're gonna run from the negative side over here, negative batteries, into the uh, shunt for the battery monitor, and then into the distribution bar right here for the other uh, negative loads. So I think that's what we're doing now with this big four odd wire. So this is your um, shunt for your battery monitoring kit. You'll attach the negative side of the battery to this, and then the distribution bar will be attached to this side. And this will measure, in conjunction with the little, little module here, will measure all of the amperage, voltage, wattage, and everything inside, in and out of your battery. So on your Magnum display, you'll be able to see very accurately what you have used, what you haven't used, basically what's left and, and such. So, so there's a wire that will run from here yeah. clear to the monitor. Yes. Um, yes. One of the, yeah. Exactly. The, one, the wire will run to the monitor, and actually, it'll, it'll daisy chain off the inverter. This wire will actually go to the inverter. The inverter will then go to the monitor. And then these guys plug in here and go to here. Okay. Okay. That's it. That, that cable is going to determine where the battery goes. Where the battery goes right. <laughs> that battery is staying right there. <laughs> All right, so I've hooked up the battery shunt, the, the, the negative shunt to, uh, to, the, to the negative pulse on the batteries. And now I'm going to finish another run from here to here. So I've got to measure some, some more. Look at that, isn't that nice? Oh, are you kidding me? Sure. Yeah. It's not very nice. It's too short. Short happens. You don't like short. Yeah, stretch. Take two. That'll be great. All right, that's all done up right there. And it's the right size? Hey, let's find out right now. Yep, now I've got, I've got the uh, batteries hooking directly up to the shunt. This is for the battery, mo battery monitoring kit. And then the negative from there goes to my negative bus bar. And now I need to run a negative 4 aught to the inverter. So we can do that now, I believe. No, it's just right. Alrighty, that'll work great. So that will hook up the uh, inverter. This is on the, the negative bus bar. So from here down to the inverter, negative. That'll work out good. So the negative is done. Huh? Uh, negative to the inverter is done. Now I need to do negative to the 12 volt chassis. Ooh. It's always nice to be able to reuse. 
Chucky. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that nice? So this is a dealer. I believe either either a dealer or it could be possibly a manufactured install item. Look at how many wires they missed out of that crimp, and it's all fraying apart. So once a year, you need to get in there and check your cabling. Make sure stuff hasn't frayed loose. Uh, make sure everything's nice and tight on your connections. All of your battery connections and all of your cable connections need to be really nice and tight. So make sure you get that stuff done. That way you limit your, your lessening the resistance less chance of any kind of heat issues and fires that's important yep so that's bad <laughs> just want to see if it's long enough it's long enough yeah. <laughs> oh too short literally inches too short i was just if this was going to fit it'd be perfect Although the I could, white one's I could use the white one too, because yeah. it's white signifies yeah. ground it's on longer. the 12 volt system. And it's longer. Why wouldn't that work? That would work. Oh yeah, white would be just fine. Actually, that's the right length I need right there. I'm not even going to cut it. <laughs> I'm just going to redo the ends. Heat shrink the ends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, reuse what you got. So we're looking for a we're looking for a good chassis ground, which should be on a frame piece of the RV. This section right over here is all just panel, but this strut right here is axle frame piece. And that's where the grounds were mounted before. So I think I'm just going to put the grounds there again. Uh, however, I am going to scratch the surface a bit more and expose the steel to get a better ground. There we go. See now the paint's gone away from the metal. I've got bare metal showing, so that'll make a much better ground connection. All right, so I'm uh, applying a little bit of this uh, dielectric grease stuff just to help the uh, connections from corroding, um, being exposed. A little bit sometimes it's nice to have protection on these elements. All right, so I just ran the uh, 12 volt neutral wire from our ground bus bar. And we'll we'll, we'll you know, attach it up here, make it look nice. But I round I round ran it to my chassis ground right there. That actually is on a piece of frame rail. And you connected it with other grounds. And I connected other grounds, other 12 volt grounds to it. All right. So what's next? Well, now, I think I want to uh, start hooking up some batteries. All righty, voltmeter. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, these are 6 volt batteries. 6.44. That's fully charged. Fully charged. 6.44 fully charged. 6.44. Great. 6.44. Wow. That's what happens when you get good batteries. See? <laughs> and then uh, we'll see what happens when you hook them up. Hook up the uh, positive and negative. Because now what, what this does is make one battery. And I cut these uh, jumper cables here at a length that would allow me about a half inch space between each battery at the top. 
and we'll, so we'll run a piece of plywood or run a piece of half inch plywood or something like that, like that between the batteries just to maintain the spacing. And then we're also gonna run um, two by two around the base of the batteries to keep them in place on the, in the uh, storage compartment here. So now we should have 12 over 12 volts. 12.88. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Things are working. Things are working. I like it. I like it. Are you excited? I am excited. Looking good. Are you ready to become boondocking champs like us? Well, we're not quite ready, but uh, I don't think we'll ever achieve your championship. <laughs> <laughs> Our level of boondocking. How about you, Mom? Yeah, I don't think we'll quite be to 90 days with two days on power. I think, you know, a few days here and there, a week or two. It's nice to get you out there. 12.88 on that battery. So we did something right. I like it when it happens. All right, so we've just now hooked up the batteries. As I told you before, we have four six volt batteries and they're wired in series parallel. The series part of that is wiring the positive to the negative to create a 12 volt battery. And then the parallel part of that is running the positive through the positive to uh, multiply your amperage. So with this, it's a 224 amp battery at 12 volts times two. So we actually have 448 amp hours available, but we only run down to two, about 50%. So you have 224 amp hours actually available at 50% load. So like I said, we run the positives through Positive, positive, all the way through the positive bus bar to the on off switch and to the inverter. And the negative side has gone to the shunt, to the negative bus bar, to the inverter, and also to the chassis ground. I'm hooking up the T fuse. So basically, charging the system now. It's, the system is now live up to this off switch. <laughs> okay. T fuse is on. We got positive power, 12.86 or seven. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so we got lights. Yeah, they're not blowing out. No, nope. So that is that. That's just adding new batteries. Right. That's just one step of the whole thing, adding new batteries. You know, we really haven't even touched the inverter or anything else yet. That'll be uh, very soon. So tomorrow I think will be the AC wiring and then uh, working on the inverter, getting that hooked up. And we should get panels tomorrow. Either tomorrow or Wednesday, I'm not positive. So far it's looking good. Folks, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And what else am I supposed to say? <laughs> uh, and if they have any questions or comments. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure and add that below. Yep. And below. until next and time. And until next time, how Hana? Oana, Ohana. Pauhana. Pauhana. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana! Hana.